death of the learner in Limpopo who took her own life after being bullied. All sorts of questions to ask. Why did it happen? Could she have been saved? Why didn't she tell anyone about it? But there are also con questions to ask about the adults involved in this. Was the school to blame? What about the education department or a teacher or a principal or learners who stood by and watched the assault happen? I mean, you call it bullying, but maybe assault is better. Mtukuzisi Mapumulo is an attorney at Adams and Adams. Mtukuzisi, good afternoon to you. I mean, when someone dies like this in this terribly tragic way, is there a legal way to hold anyone responsible for what happened? I imagine people at the school have some duty of care. Hi, Stephen, um, and uh, a very good um, afternoon to your viewers. Um, to answer your question as to whether there may be a legal action, um, the answer is yes. Uh, there may be legal action. Um, it may be against uh, the Department of, uh, of Education. Uh, it may be against uh, the school, uh, depending on um, uh, the nature of the school, whether it's uh, private or it's public. Um, then um, there may also be um, criminal um, charges laid against uh, specific individuals who were directly involved uh, in, the, in, the, in the incident. So uh, to answer your question, yes, absolutely, there may be legal action. Who would you take it against? I mean, would it be the department? Would it be the school? And I can, I mean, I would want to say this teacher is responsible or this principal, and this person's going to turn around and say, look, I've got a thousand children to look after. Um, there has to be um, a thorough investigation um, into, into the incident to look at um, the safety measures. Uh, the school um, and the Department of Education has the responsibility to ensure uh, safety of pupils. So um, if there is um, an incident of this nature, we have to look um, at the specific incident and look at whether there were adequate measures uh, to, um, to ensure this uh, safe environment, uh, which is, um, you know, um, um, inextricably um, intertwined uh, with uh, the constitutional rights of children. Um, we have to look at the, at the other um, legal, in, uh, the legal instruments, uh, such as uh, Schools Act. We, we've got to uh, consider the uh, specific schools um, code of conduct. Um, then we look at whether um, against, viewed against uh, those um, legal instruments, the, um, the way sufficient, adequate um, measures in place to safeguard the interest uh, the safety um, and also the rights of um, pupils in school. So it's, it, there has to be a thorough investigation to actually come to whether um, on merit uh, there is a, a case um, in um, which is probably there is. Then we look at who um, are the uh, specific individuals, if there are specific individuals, and look at if it's going to be the school. So. It, it will all um, depend on the investigation done. Um, Mr. Gazisi, I mean, sometimes words matter, and particularly in your field in the law, the legal phrase that you use matters. Now, all through this, we've talk, spoken about the word, the English word, bullying. Um, if someone pushes someone against a wall and hits them, if it were two adults, it's assault. And I presume just because the two people are under the age of 18, it's still assault, right? That is so, um, and um, this specific incident took place um, at a, a, in, in a high school. Um, my understanding is that from the reports in, in the media. So um, in law, um, the law uh, distinguishes uh, between children below uh, the age of seven to say they cannot be held legally responsible for their action. But now um, um, from the age of um, seven plus, then we, we, uh, there is um, a presumption um, that those uh, children or pupils can be um, responsibly um, um, responsible, um, legally responsible, uh, rather, um, for their actions. And um, you are quite correct. Um, the charges for the assault may be laid against a specific people. So under the Children's Act, if I remember correctly, and you will know this better than I do, I mean, if someone under the age of 18, depending on the age, depending on what they've done, assaults someone, we're not really talking about jail time. I mean, their access to other services. And the reason this is important is that if we call it what it is, assault, um, it means that the, the person, the child, 
who is doing the assault may get help that they need. Absolutely. Um, more of the punishment, um, uh, I, will I, I will use the word punishment, but it's more of a, a corrective measure um, in the instance of uh, children. Um, that is also to um, safeguard um, um, the future and um, to teach the lesson to the uh, to the children and also to send out the um, a message to the rest of the of the of, of the kids. Uh, but um, you you may recall um, there was um, an instance of bullying in uh, in um, one school in KZN a few months ago, and um, that specific um, child. Uh, or specific um, school learner um, was um, held um, criminally liable and uh, got a sentence of uh, three months. So um, ordinarily, um, a sentence uh, for an assault would be more than three months. But now, because it, it is viewed in the context of um, an offender being a school child, you you you've got to um, to adopt. Um, a punishment uh, that, that is going to um, be fitting and also to send a message to the other learners. So in this uh, particular instance, may, maybe that would be a, a precedent or something um, of a persuasive value for a specific court if it, it, it goes to that point uh, for the court to consider um, to be of a, a persuasive value. Thanks very much indeed. From the law firm Adams & Adams, I really do appreciate the time.